I can't be the only one who said KTM straight away in their head, right? Magic twist, it's awesome. The apex. This is the fastest way through a corner. And that is the fastest, the most expensive, and the most see through Aether yet. Fitting then for it to be called the apex. But why does this exist? What's changed? What hasn't? And who is this scooter really for? All that and more in this episode of Power Rift. And to answer that first question, we need to warp back in time. Aether themselves say that this is a passion project, a way to send off the 450 platform with a bang, a way to celebrate a decade of Aether energy. And while in those 10 years, they worked on making the 450 easier, more accessible, especially with the 450S, this is Aether going back to its roots. Because although there's a lot that's changed here on the 450 Apex, by far the most exciting change is this. Aether says that Warp isn't just a mode, it's an experience and by that logic, Warp Plus, it really is an experience. Aether's not just made getting off the line faster, but even at higher speeds, 50, 60, 65, where the Warp started to dull down, Warp Plus keeps pulling hard. And yes, finally now the 450 can hit 100 km per hour, pretty effortlessly too cool new Warp Plus UI on the screen. You actually need even fewer kilometers to appreciate the fact that this is still a really well calibrated mode. What does need some calibration though is the next big feature, Magic Twist. And the calibration needed isn't on Aether's end, it's on yours. Think of this as a one pedal drive, but for a scooter. Want to accelerate, open the throttle, want to decelerate, give it negative throttle. Yes, twisting the throttle forward past the zero point activates regen that you can actually use instead of the brakes. And that's because Magic Twist fixes the three main problems with regen today. Problem number one, regen doesn't work when your battery is full, fixed. And this is done thanks to the fact that Aether owns both the software and the hardware that powers and drives the 450 Apex. So basically, they use a set of very complex algorithms and because I don't want you to really fall asleep with the boring details of it, they basically send that extra energy back through the motor, recirculate it and burn it off while still giving you the feeling of regen. And that also fixes problem number two, consistency. Well, sort of. Unlike other scooters, you always have regen, yes, but it is speed sensitive, meaning it won't throw you off the scooter at 80, 90 kilometers per hour, but it will get stronger as you get slower, which is good. But because we first rode the Apex at a place with many Apexes lined after long straights, here the magic twist would not break hard enough before corner entry, so you'd start to get on the brakes to shed speed, but by then you've gone into the range of more aggressive regen, so you suddenly have a lot of braking happening mid-corner. Not a particularly nice feeling, I agree, but also not really a regular use case. Out in the real world, Magic Twist, it's awesome. You can ride for extended kilometers without ever needing to touch the brakes and that's also because it fixes problem number three with regen and that's that it's never really strong enough. Here, Magic Twist can eventually bring you to a full stop and it's not an on-off switch. You can actually control how quickly you come to a stop. Keep in mind that for emergency situations, there's not enough braking force to get you stopped in time. But for most other situations, it's actually really intuitive once you get calibrated. That's already two massive changes. But another third change is in the looks department. Indium Blue is the color's name and interestingly or not, it's one of the most recently invented blues. 
as recently founded as 2009. And that's complemented by a very bright orange with a really cool transparent panel at the back that shows off the orange frame. I can't be the only one who said KTM straight away in their head, right? Anyways, if you see through the paint and the see-through panels, you will realize that this is basically the same old 450 that we've seen in the past. I know Aether gets a lot of hate online for not updating their design, but I like the fact that they've focused on changes and updates that actually make a positive difference rather than facelifts that focus on form rather than function. This also means that people who are waiting for that big change are still sitting behind that fence over there and people who've just bought a brand new 450X already feel like it's outdated in just a couple of months. It's two sides to a coin and I'd love to know your opinions and your questions on it, so let's chat in the comments below. But the answer to who this is for is a bit more confusing. It's not for the masses, that's for sure. The 1.4 lakh rupee, 3.7 kilowatt hour Aether 450X, depending on your state subsidy of course, is already premium, but you do get a premium experience in return then spending 40,000 more for just a little more performance, just a little more range thanks to the regen and see-through panels just doesn't make sense. If you take off the subsidy from the 450X and add the Pro Pack, the difference does become lesser. Aether knows this is not a mass market product. That will be their family scooter that's currently internally codenamed Diesel because family is more important than anything else. And that will arrive in 2024. So although Aether won't sell too many of these, I like the fact that it actually exists. And it's also a fitting send off for the 450, which has been incredibly important in changing the electric scooter landscape of India. Anyways, I hope we made you like this video. If you know someone who fits the bill for the Apex, share this video with them and subscribe to Power Drift for the Apex of automotive content. Thank you for watching. Editor, again, second task cam file. <laughs> sorry, one sec. Three, two, one. Uh, just, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Are you ready? 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 Are you